Multi-slice CT is really the modern CT scanner, which pretty much everyone uses. Uh, that allows us to acquire the 3D data to reconstruct the x-ray images of the inside of the knee much more efficiently. So really all of the CT we do now are all multi-slice uh, CTs. Uh, and as I talked about earlier when I just gave a general overview of modalities, CT is very helpful for limited questions in the musculoskeletal system, but it's not a good technique for evaluating most causes of knee pain and for evaluating sports injuries. Uh, the exception is with multi-slice CT, if somebody for some reason can't have an MR study, then if we look on the inside of joints like the shoulder and the knee, we can do CT arthrography. CT itself doesn't allow us to look at the soft tissues inside the joints, but if we introduce contrast into the joint, then CT is relatively good at looking for uh, meniscal tears in the knee, moderately good for looking at uh, ligament injuries like the anterior cruciate ligament that, are, that can be associated with the joint space but most ligaments it's not good for because they're not inside the joint space. So uh, uh, CT arthrography is also a relatively good technique for looking at articular cartilage defects. Uh, so if MR is not available for whatever reason, then an arthrographic CT can be, can be helpful for joint imaging. And then we like to use CTs for looking at complex fractures because CT gives exquisite detail of cortical fragments. So if you have a comminuted intraarticular fracture, uh, or if there's a, a, a regular x-rays that are suggestive of a fracture and MR is not available, then we'll use CT for that. Uh, but CT, even multi-slice CT, is not great for the trabecular bone injuries, which are much more common as a cause of pain with sports injuries than a cortical fracture.